All right, so we are getting the comments in and we are able to see it. We're missing some information, of course. Uh, the only thing we're doing is just displaying the comment from here. And the uh, other thing is we are able to create it from the front of the website of the CMS. We are not able to do any CRUD right now here, like delete, edit, or an approve, approve, or any, any, anything like that. But what we will be doing on this lecture here is relating this comment to the post. We're going to put the title of the post here, and when we click on it, it's going to take us to that specific post. It's going to be great, all right? So let's go ahead and start doing it right fast, right there. Let's go to admin, includes, view or comments. And here, where you see the you see the heading right here, all right, of this table, we're gonna go after I st status. We're gonna go to in response to this some title right there. All right, so that would be right here, static, some static HTML there and PHP. We're gonna remove that and make sure that we have a query. So let's send the query in the first SQL that we're going to be writing is to select everything from posts. We're going to bring some data from posts where what? The column post ID equals do you remember what we did with the post ID when we submitted that comment? We saved it, we saved it somewhere right here. This is where we saved it when we submitted the form all right, so if you want to, um, if you are lost, make sure that you go back to the um, home site right here to this lecture where we created this little form here. Every time we send the form, we are also sending this parameter right here, right? And then we are saving it in this comment post ID that we are bringing out of the database right now, all right? So now that we have that, what we need to do is send it in. So we're going to select post ID query and we're going to send it in my SQL, my SQLI query, query. All right. I'm going to send it in with a connection. All right. And we're going to use a while loop to loop through that result set. Well, to get that result set back. My SQLI fetch. We're going to use this function to bring back. Well, not back to bring in and I always have an issue with this fetch FTCH the FTCH is really hard for me to get it in my mind anything related to TCH it's something that I, for some reason I guess language barrier you know that because I speak like three languages uh, is a problem so if, when you see me struggling with that know that that's what it is <laughs> So I still got some learning to do. All right, hopefully you can forgive me for that. So we're going to get the post ID out of the database. We're going to assign it to a variable. We're going to get the post title out too. And this time my hands are going faster than my mouth. Right there. Perfect. All right, so hopefully we didn't make any mistakes if we did we will probably be debugging in a minute. But right now, let's get this going. Let's echo this out here. And we need a link right here. So first, let's go ahead and see if this is actually displaying somehow, right? Let's go ahead and check it out. Admin, comment. And it's already displaying beautiful. As you can see here, we go back, we see this example three right here. So when we click on it, so that means that this coming is related to that. You see it? All right. 
Perfect. So it's coming in. Let's get the, a link here. href. Let's close it. And let's get the closing tag for that link. And let's put that right in the middle here. Right there. Let's make sure that we don't make a mistake here. And we're gonna send this outside twice because we're gonna we gotta come out of the admin and then includes and go to the root, and that's gonna be that uh, post.php, and it's gonna be p i well p underscore id equals the post id. Hopefully we get it right. All right. So if you didn't understand what I did. I'm going to recap a little bit right now. If not, just forward it and you should be good. All right. So what we did here is that we are making a query from post where post ID, which is the column in the database in the table, all right, equals the post ID. This post ID, we are getting it from this field right here. And this field contains the post ID from here. As you can see, this comment right here has, we have this URL parameter right here, right? And when we submit the form, we are picking it up and saving it in the post common post ID field. And when we save it in there, so we have that value, right? In this case, let's say, for example, we have the 34 here saved there. So when we are making this request right here, right here we are saying I want you right to select all the posts where the post ID column is equal to that post ID whatever post ID we pass it we are on right when the loop is going around so right now if we have 20 of them every time we click on the link right now it's gonna send it to that specific post ID so anyway let's go to the back here and let's refresh and as you as you can see we have the link if we click it we go to that specific post. All right, so let's test this again and let's just actually make a post. Make a comment on one of these posts, right? Actually, we have some posts here. We just have to make comments on them. This one, let's make a comment on this one here. Example post two, and let's send in a comment and let's call ourselves Sandra. Yeah. We are actually using girls' names now because we have some girls or some women taking these courses and we have to use them also. Why not? All right. Hey, Ed. And I'm not going to say anything bad, right? Hey, Ed. I think, I think your course is good. All right. Submit. Perfect. Submit it. Let's go and check it out if it is submitted. And we can see that Sandra submitted the post. Beautiful. And let's go to admin and let's go to comments. Let's see it right here. It's on a proof, of course. If we click on it, it will take us to that post. Perfect. We click back. Let's go to posts. All right. Perfect. So we can see that here. And it's ID sits example post two in response to this post. Perfect. This is looking better and better every time. So we are done with this, relating this table with the post table. And on the next one, we're gonna start doing this crud right here. Alright? Perfect. Thank you so much for watching, and I see you on the next lecture.